Shalom, call hello Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect, the house of David. It's the priest Yasha Wamba back with another lesson. And uh, we're going to deal with this trend going on in Israel to where when you're rebuked, when you're corrected, all right, and when, when things don't go your way, you automatically connect it to something negative. When that has been a part of our legacy, all right, and that is a part of our culture, all right, if I had not been rebuked or corrected along my way in this walk, then I would not be where I was today in the spirit. All right. The Lord sends his men to correct you, man. There are that that's what the body is for, to correct you. All right. And anytime you have men who get corrected or told about themselves, they can be completely in the wrong. Bring it breaking down the wrong doctrine, really don't understand the breakdown. And then brothers get on them and we come in swarms. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot. That's our legacy. Great millstone. We're going to do a lot of videos, man. One brother, you know, one brother see it, another brother going to do a video, another brother going to add his spirit. And these things are all done for the edification of those who have ears to ultimately hear, man. Because there may be something that you don't understand, all right, that you may be teaching and, 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 and brothers will, tell you know, correct you, you know. Open rebuke is better than secret love, man. It is better to, to, to hear the rebuke of the wise than hear the songs of fools so what these men do when they get rebuked is they run to youtube and they promote all right that they're being persecuted and hated and you know only in in, in recent time only in this generation is correction all right and rebuke looked at as hating or something negative man and that's how you guys promote it and you use that as a as a crutch and as an excuse all right, to not take heed to what the Lord is talking about, man, and to get all of these comments so you can feel fact, feel good about the fact, all right, that you were wrong. But the bottom line is you're still wrong, man. All right, you're still wrong. No matter how many comments you get with men and women, oh, man, CG and this, you still wrong, bro. All right? So for you brothers who are, who are, who are coming up in this truth, man, when you get rebuked or somebody gets on you, it's not always a negative thing, man. All right. There's lessons along this, 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 this walk that you're just going to have to learn. All right. I had to go through it. All of the pro apostles and prophets had to go through it, man. But then you get into the truth and you get a platform. See, this is the thing, man. If you guys don't want to be corrected or, or rebuked. All right. Who do you want it to come from? Esau. It's going to come from other Israelites, man then you shouldn't be out there teaching, man. Okay? Now, this is Sirach, the fourth chapter. All right? Because wisdom has to ultimately trust you, man. And she's going to try you. I'm going to get the 20th verse. It says, observe the opportunity and beware of evil. And be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. See, you got guys who get ashamed when they're put on the spotlight, man. And pride kicks in, man. They don't they don't take into consideration the Lord because all of this is happening according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. They don't take into consideration, well, maybe I need to check myself. All right? The first thing they start doing is saying y'all hating, start uh, 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 rebelling, start talking crazy, leaving hella comments, you know, uh, uh, texting one another, these niggas. But they never consider, well, what if I'm wrong? Let me take into consideration that I'm wrong, man. I've done it. Other brothers do it. All right. Be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. For there is a shame that bringeth sin. All right. And there is a shame which is glory and grace. So if you repent. All right. And if you put on the spot. All right. All of our forefathers was put on the spot, man. And they passed the test. All right. You got to pass the test, man. All right. There's a shame that brings sin and there's a shame which is glory and grace, man. All right. So you should have observed the opportunity to show the Lord that you're humble, man. But th these guys ain't, ain't going to do that, man. All right. Now. 
Let me type in Song of Fools, man. All right. Ecclesiastes 7 and 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools, man. A bunch of people who have no idea what they're what they're a part of, who are just watching and may be captivated by the way you teach, who may be captivated by how you get this precept, that precept. All right. So you 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 can always run to hear the song of fools, but you're running from the rebuke of the wise, man. And we're doing the videos. To ultimately correct you, man. We're doing a video. That's love. All right, that's love. You see? But it's better to hear the rebuke of the wise than to for a man to hear the song of fools. But in this modern time, this has been taken out of Israel. Anytime you tell an Israelite something about himself, he has to clap back. Okay, it, it, it's negative. All right, you, you hate no him. You jealous of him. You see? What the hell is wrong with you guys, man? Now, here it is. You can go and type in rebuke, okay? Now, you're not supposed to rebuke, all right, a, a brother for, for no damn reason just because you don't like his personality. You create narratives in your mind and, you know, just try to belittle the man and destroy him. Nah, you know, you're not supposed to do that, okay? But you rebuke for the purpose of the brother getting uh, uh, back in good graces with you how about shim yasha now before i get that let me get this precept in proverbs the 18th chapter i believe all right because that's the oldest trick in the book you get rebuked and then you run the youtube with your face all close to the screen acting like you being persecuted and destroyed and brothers are just d d trying to destroy you and out there come on man and then, of course, are you going to get all the comments? We with you, brother. We, oh, man, brother, see them niggas, man. That's what's wrong. <laughs> Boy, you niggas are something else, man. Proverbs 18 and 17. He that is first in his own call seemeth just. So anybody can jump on to the, uh, a, a video, all right, and make himself seem as the most humblest. Yeah, man, I'm just out here trying to wake up my people. And hear these, you know, dang. Oh, man. Israel, I love y'all, man. And then when you read the Bible, there's nothing but friction. You know, the, the, the Israelites getting on one another, leaders of Israel getting on other leaders of Israel. Okay? <laughs> Paul cried for three years getting on other Israelites, man. But then when you get on somebody in these times, you, well, why ain't Israel? Why ain't, why ain't all Israel together? Where in the scriptures did it say in these times all Israel would be, get together, man? The elect are gonna get together, man. And you got particular men who may be gainsayers now who will eventually see it, but they're gonna eventually see it through the works of the elect. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Every man has his time. It says, he that is first in his own call seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him out. So you could all day make yourself to be the greatest, most humblest, you know, justify yourself. I do this. I do that. I ain't did nothing. But the Lord has set up your neighbor to come search you out, man. And when, when, and when you finally, when these guys get searched out and put on the spot, you see their true intent, man. You guys are not ready to lead, man. You're not ready to lead Israel, man. Straight up and down. All right? You sound good, but when it gets down to the get down, you're not ready to 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 you're not ready to get jump in these trenches the right way, man. All right? Maybe one day the Lord, you know, will put the spirit on you to you know, get in the right spirit, but right now you guys just ain't ready a lot of you. A lot of you, man. All right? You even have men like this in Great Millstone, man. They don't want to take any rebuke, backbiting, talking shit. As long as everything is in good graces and the chicken is flowing and the lamb is flowing, you know, the quinoa, everything, you know, Jake is good, man. But when they get put on the spot for their behavior or told they're wrong, then all they can do is just start ju justifying themselves and, and looking for reasons where you wrong and not really taking heed to the spirit of the Lord, man. Okay. 
you got 20 men of the Lord telling you the same thing. Some, at some point, you got to be like, well, damn, maybe it is me. But because of pride and because men get all of these comments and these views and, you know, the praises of men, they don't think that they can be corrected, man. They think that everything is according to the flesh. They don't look at anything spiritual, man. All right. Now you go to these the scriptures and you look up rebuke. OK. That's a part of our culture, man. All right. Open rebuke is better than secret love. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than to hear the song of fools. That's a part of our culture, man. All right. That's a part of our culture, man. Revelation three and nine, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So how's the Lord going to rebuke you? Is he going to come down on a cloud? All right. And you walk outside of your apartment. OK, with the PlayStation on pause. All right. You walk outside of your apartment and the most high himself is going to be sitting there. Hey, bro, you know, you went off on that breakdown, right? No, he's going to send the men of the Lord, man. OK. He's going to send the men of the Lord, man. Titus 2 and 15. These things speak, exhort, and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. And you Israelites despise the men of the Lord, man. You, if the prophets were, which they are back here today, but when, if the prophets, the Messiah were all back here today, all right, in the, in the spirit, doing what, you guys would hate him, man. You will be figuring out reasons to call them haters and, you know, the, the, the dirty and, you know, whatever the hell you would do, man. Because you Israelites really love the West, man. The, the way that things go, the, the vibration of the West, how you were raised is really how you think life should be, man. You think that you should become an Israelite and things should be all good, man. No, man. It's not going to be like that, man. You're going to be told about yourself, dog. Stop crying. Nobody did. Nobody persecuting you, man. Second Timothy's four and two preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Now, you got particular men who make videos rebuking over matters that have nothing to do with the doctrine and just being demons and searching out brothers personal lives and, you know, stuff like that. Come on, man. But when it comes to the doctrine or your particular behavior amongst the body, hey, man, certain men need to be rebuked, man. If you're not rebuke, if, if there's no rebuke in your camp, then you're not in the camp. You, you don't have a camp, man. You're not in the spirit. You don't have a church. Brothers should be getting rebuked, man. Brothers ain't perfect. But and there's a way, you know, of course, like when we do the video, you know, with some of you guys, we're, we're telling you it's not personal. It's business. But you niggas run back to your little pages so you can try to lean on those comments that you're going to get to make you. But the bottom line, brother, you're wrong. Your breakdown is wrong. OK, you're going off. You're going off, man. All right. The America is not the beast. OK, and you're going off in your breakdown. And I ain't got to say your names, man. You know who I'm talking to. It's like you, you can't even be a man of the Lord no more without niggas queefing up and turning into women, man. This effeminate female vibe that you Israelites are trying to push as, as though everything's supposed to be happy, go lucky. And just because you're an Israelite, I'm supposed to, you know, and you have we are happy to see Israel waking up. But there is a doctrine, man. Now. You you'll have men say, well. You know, well, I don't have to listen to men and this ain't well. When you get uh, Acts two, let's see. Acts two, when they were baptized, let's see. Uh, Let me type in Apostles Doctrine. I know it's in this chapter, but this is impromptu. Those brothers be sending videos, you know, because I, you know, you got to, gee whiz. Yep. 
Acts 2 and 42, it says, 41, then they gladly received his, his word, it's a man speaking, and were baptized. And what baptizes you is the water, the word. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. You dudes need to man up, man. All right, you're wrong. We not wrong, all right? <laughs> and the same day, all right, there were added to them about 3,000 souls. So was that a water baptism or were they baptized through hearing the word? That shows you what the true baptism is. Okay, it says, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking bread and in prayer. So there is a doctrine. This is what you guys don't understand. There is a doctrine, man. Okay? <laughs> that must be followed, man. Okay? All right? And that 100% truth is here on the earth, man. Okay? Now, you looking at it as, oh, man, so you saying, I got to, if I don't listen to you, hey, well, hey, man, hey, have it your way, man. All right, have it your way. We'll see where that spirit gets you, man. 1 Timothy 4 and 16, take heed unto thyself. Let me see, matter, matter of fact. Yep. It says, uh, I'll just get the, the, the point. Take heed, 1 Timothy 4 and 16, take heed to thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay? <laughs> so clearly we're supposed to mark them that cause division. All right? Mark them that cause divisions. All right? Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division, divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So when we do this, and this is why everybody hates us, man. But we love it because it's 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 righteous. It's righteous uh, 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 hate that we're receiving, man. It's, it's good. We love it. We love it, man. All right? Get out of your feelings, man. Nobody's persecuting you. You are wrong. Okay? You're wrong. The breakdown, all right, the the the, the breakdown that you're bringing out is wrong. And yeah, you could in in, in the mo and you'll do a unity camp with a camp who believes in the mark of the beast and they won't have anything to say to you. But you know what? The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. And you all are going to find out very soon, man. Cuz the Lord is we're in the time of judgment, man. All right? We're in a time of judgment, man, and embracing, all right, uh, 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 our, the order and the rulership that's coming, man. All right. So with that, you know, pretty much is more scriptures, but I'm going to just leave it at that, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Those who have ears to hear will be edified and those who don't ultimately will figure out a reason to remain in their simplicity and rebellion and be niggas, man. Shalom.